Hey everyone, it is Shelly. Today I wanna share with you a quick tip that I learned recently that is gonna help you with any of your transparent animated video overlays that you may be using for streaming or for your videos it is going to take those videos, shrinkify them, maintain transparency, and not kill your computer like you have seen in many of my own live streams if you've tuned in. So if you're ready for that, keep on watching. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On this channel, we do YouTube Explained Simply, video editing made easy so that you can share what you love with the world. I'm really excited for today. You would know if you have been tuning in on Thursdays for Triple T Thursdays, which is tips, tricks, tutorials. One of my favorite things to do is do a little dance break underneath all of the lights and bubbles, but sometimes that file is huge. My streaming software doesn't like it and I get stuck, my computer gets frozen. Now I have found a way that I can actually shrinkify that file and the last time I have been testing this, it has worked flawlessly so I wanna share this with you in case any of this is up your alley or can help you. Let's go ahead and jump into that. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm going to show you a project that we created on, gosh, it might've been the Christmas Eve Triple T show that we did an animated transparent video overlay. We did that live and created that. Go check out that episode. I will link it up here in the cards if you are interested to see how we made that one live during the show. So I'm gonna jump into iMovie and show you that overlay and then what you can do and what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. All right, here we are in iMovie and I've created a quick clip and now we're gonna go and grab the output from the keynote animation that we made on that triple T and it was the snowflake. So if you were here with us for that, you should remember the snowflakes. Drag this down here onto my timeline and you can see even though it looks black on the library up here, up here, um, when you drag it down onto the timeline, it is actually a transparent video animation file. And you're gonna see it's going to be moving over. I'm gonna just drop down the volume just in case it's playing it back. So you can see it's obviously moving, doing its thing, all that good stuff, all right? So actually, I'm just going to Command R on this. We're gonna speed this guy up so it ends at the same time as the video clip. We don't need that to be hanging out. If you didn't see how I did that, that is Command R is the shortcut, and then you can just kind of drag in on this little circular handle here. That way you can actually speed it up. So what I want to show you is, actually let's go to the desktop and I can show you the properties of this particular file. All right, now when I click Get Info on this particular file, I wanna show you that over here, hopefully up here you're seeing it, this particular overlay, even though it's only 19 seconds long, clocks in at 755 megabytes. That is a huge file for such a small length of time of animation. And you find that this is very, very common when it comes to anything that's been exported as 4444, maintaining that transparent uh, background. So let me show you the cool trick that I've learned. We're going to close this. I'm going to open up the file itself. All right, so this file, which we know is 755 megabytes, we're going to go up to the top menu, go all the way up to the top for the QuickTime menu, and then go to the file, and then we're going to do export as. Go ahead and click 1080. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a smaller file size, HEVC, and we are going to hit the preserve transparency. So make sure that is actually selected. And then we are going to save this. I just wanna make sure it has a different name. So I'm gonna call this 2222 just for funsies. And we will hit save on this and it should export to my desktop. And then I wanna show you the difference in file size between the one that we exported from Keynote and now this one, which we are exporting through using QuickTime. QuickTime should be included on your computer for free already. Now you remember from before the Snowflakes was 750 megabytes. The one that we just did, Snowflakes 2222, is 19.8 megabytes, which is drastically different. And I wanna show you that when we go into iMovie and apply this, it is still the same, still has the same transparency, just is, you know, about a tenth of the size. So let's go back into iMovie. I'm just gonna shorten this real quick. And you guys still see it's that same one from before. We're gonna bring in that new one. Two, 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 two. 
And you're going to see that this is the file that has not been used in the project yet because the other two have the orange bar on it indicating that it's already part of the project. I'm not going to speed this one up for right now. I just want to show you the difference between having one having the other. You can see it is still transparent, but it is a lot smaller. So this is exactly what I did when I came to my dance break overlay, which went from three gigabytes down to about 300 megabytes. So this is a fantastic option for you if you are someone who is doing a lot of animated overlays for your live stream. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this tip, make sure you give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you want more tips like this one. I thought this was a good one. I want to say thank you to all of my channel members. You know who you are. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. All of the platinum level channel members on this channel always get an on-screen mention. And if you want to join the fam, there is a button down below with the join. It will give you all of the details on how to do that. If you're looking to learn how to up level your video editing game this year, check out my iMovie Made Easy eCourse. I would love to teach you how to do iMovie this year so you can share what you love with the world. And last thing I want to say, follow me online, Twitter, Instagram. It's over here, isn't it? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Snap. I don't Snapchat. Actually, that's a lie. Don't follow me on Snapchat. But do find me on TikTok. I will find you over there. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in an episode very soon. Bye.